Well, hello everyone. Now, today we're going to be talking about It's Me, Billy, a Black Christmas fan sequel fan film by Mr. Dave McRae. I've been watching Mr. McRae for a long time. Now, big fan of his work. I recommend you check out of his channel if you haven't, which I'm pretty sure if you're a Halloween fan or any kind of horror movie fan, you probably have seen his content. But he has been working on a fan film called It's Me, Billy for the longest time, I think since... Well, I really can't recall when he started doing it, but it's been a it's been a while. And finally, the trailer that we've all been waiting for has finally dropped. It's about almost two minutes. Now, I've already watched the trailer. I was thinking of doing a trailer reaction, but because my camera's being an asshole and it's not working, can't really provide that. So I've decided to give you guys a quick review of the trailer. I think it's great. I went into it expecting to be interested and excited. And needless to say, I came out of it feeling exactly like that. I am interested. I am excited to see what direction Dave and Bruce are going with this fan sequel. It's it's exciting. There's a lot of uh, very creepy atmosphere in the night shots that we saw in the trailer. As Dave is all for mood and atmosphere, which I am too. So congratulations to Dave and a cinematographer for capturing the mood and atmosphere. It's very creepy. It's very unsettling, actually. It, it, it It's almost as if... You were there, and it felt just immensely creepy. I don't know why, just something really was unsettling about it. So I have to say, good job, Dave, and your cinematographer. It's also, it's very interesting, because there is a narration at the beginning talking about the murders in the original film, and I'm curious as to how that's going to go down. How is Dave going to execute it? And I'm very excited to see. Now, I don't know too much about what Dave is doing for It's Me, Billy, outside of what he's updated and posted publicly and from what we've seen in the trailer. But I am excited, and I have to say, you know, it, it may be a fan film, but it has the look and feel of a very, very professional movie. I think it was shot with a camera that they usually do professional movies with, as if Never Hike Alone was as well. They do the same thing. They have a very professional production. A lot of fan films nowadays do that, which is why I delayed my Halloween fan film, so that way I can deliver the best uh, production value I could. But this is what I'm talking about. This is a very important, especially to fan films nowadays with budgets. You know, you're you're able to really produce movie like fan films, which I think is great. And the only thing that's stopping them from being official films is because they don't have the proper rights. But if you label it as a fan film, you can pretty much do it if you want to. I think fan films are better. You can do whatever you want. No studio meddling or anything. Is studio meddling even a thing now? Yeah, I would say so. I don't, I don't know though. But again, congratulations to Dave. Great job to Dave and Bruce and everyone who was involved at It's Me, Billy. I can't wait to see it. It drops May 28, 2021. I will be there. I'm going to be there to review it. Again, good job to everyone on the production. Can't wait to see it. May 28th, mark your calendars because Billy is coming back.